Okay, I'm going to take you through the principle of auditing. Uh, Tuesday, 6 December 2022, afternoon paper. And the paper reads, answer all questions. Marks are located to each question as shown at the end of the question. Do not write anything on this paper. Let's proceed with question one. It reads, question one A, during an induction program to the new auditor, the audit senior emphasized on the need for confidentiality of the auditors in execution of their duties. Required, define the principle of confidentiality. Required number one is define the principle of confidentiality. Here is the answer. Confidentiality. Internal auditors respect the value and ownership of information they receive and do not disclose information without appropriate authority unless there is a legal or professional obligation to do so. Confidential information acquired by the auditor as a result of professional and business relationship should not be used for personal advantage of the profession auditor or the third party. Okay, that's how you'll explain when you ask to define the principle of confidentiality. Next requirement is enumerate four circumstances where professional accountants could be required to disclose confidential information. So that is, this is the answers for enumerate four circumstances when professional accountants could be required to disclose confidential information. The first circumstances uh, the first circumstance is to comply with the quality review of member body or professional body. And the second requirement is to respond to, an, to, to, to respond to an inquiry or investigation by a member body or regulatory body. Then the third uh, requirement is to protect the professional interest of a professional accountant in legal proceedings or to comply, that is the fourth circumstance, to comply with technical standards or ethical requirements. Maybe there's some technical uh, difficulties and they need some information to be disclosed. So the accountant will be required to give the information or when it, they are being asked to give the information by their ethics requirements. So he has no obligation to give the, the confidential information so that it can help. Okay? Let's go to the next question. It's question one, Roman B. It asks, explain the following types of audit evidence. Explain the following types of audit evidence. Roman number one is physical examination. Physical examination. This involves inspecting tangible assets such as inventory, machineries, or documents to verify their existence condition or ownership. Physical examination provides direct evidence and is often documented in audit papers. Okay? The next question is the documentary type of edit, audit evidence. Explain the documentary type of audit evidence.
On documentary evidence, auditors will gather documentation such as internal process, documents, emails, or logs to help with different portions of the overall audit. For example, the auditor may use the documentation for watching or tracking a process flow as part of the audit procedure. Okay? Yeah, that is how you'll explain on documentary evidence. Let's go to the next one, that is the oral evidence. The oral type of evidence needs an explanation. Auditor may hold a question and answer session with the client's senior leadership team to acquire, to inquire about the business operations when audit planning and designing the audit procedures, okay? The audit may just decide on oral evidence. He may decide just to have a question and answer sessions with the client's senior leadership so that he can get some uh, uh, information when designing and planning the audit procedures. That's how you'll explain on the oral evidence. Okay, let's go next to the other question. That is uh, question number one, part C. You are asked here to describe four limitations of audit. Four limitations of audit. So, here are some of the limitations of audit. Audit, uh, the first limitation is time factor. Audits generally work on a very specific work timeline. Sometimes this is due to the statutory requirements. This means that the auditor has to audit the all year's accounts in a few weeks. Hence, insufficient time is the main limitation of audit because sometimes we might be given a very short period of time and maybe you've encountered an organization that has got a lot of information or financial statements of which you should go through it and give your, your opinion. So, sometimes the time is very insufficient time, okay? For them to give all the information required. So that is a limitation on the audit work. The other limitation is checking all the transactions. Checking all the transactions. It's not possible for an auditor to check all the transactions, especially in big organizations where the number of transactions is very high and the auditor has to rely on sampling and testing, test checking, which is not 100 percent accurate sometimes okay there's also this limitation of cost factor a very thorough and detailed audit procedure will be a costly affair it is not costly effective so audit has to limit the scope of audit and use technique sampling and test test checkings okay then the other the other limitation is relying on experts the auditors has to rely on experts like engineers, valuers, and lawyers for estimation and valuation of fixed assets and estimation of contingent liability. So sometimes if these uh, experts are not available, you see, the auditor will have a hard time in doing his work, okay? Of which this one also is a limitation to them. There's also an additional, the, the fifth uh, point is additional financial burden additional financial burden. An organization has to bear additional financial burden on account of any fees or any other expenses for conducting audit. For example, they might have uh, allocated, allocated some resources for such uh, audit procedure to be taken within a given time, but sometimes some of the expenses, they go beyond it. So they will be forced to account for any fees and other expenses for conducting that audit until it is complete. Okay, let's go to the other question. That is question number two. 